if the data and the theory holds, then this is going to revolutionise the whole of cosmology because at last we've got a solution for the origin of dark energy that's been you know, perplexing cosmologists and theoretical physicists for more than 20 years now. Our universe started in the Big Bang about 13 and a half billion years ago and the force of that explosion has caused the universe to expand and the universe has been expanding ever since with the galaxies flying away from each other. Um, but all the galaxies and stars in the universe, they have gravity, so this gravity is supposed to slow the universe expansion and gradually the universe is supposed to slow down but not quite stop. That's the universe that we thought we lived in until the late 1990s and around in 1998 the Hubble Space Telescope found some mysterious results. It was looking at exploding stars in the distant universe and discovered that the universe was in fact expanding slower in the past than what it is in the present, which is contrary to what we believe. In fact, our universe is actually accelerating at the moment, so it's, it's expanding faster and faster. Now, this is a complete mystery. The best theory that we have at the moment is something called dark energy. Now dark energy pervades the whole of space and kind of acts like negative pressure. So dark energy is actually pushing things apart rather than bringing them together. And we now know that dark energy makes up most of the universe, the stuff in the universe. About only 5% is made up of atoms, so the stars and galaxies, the things that we see around us. About 27% is made up of dark matter which again we don't really understand, but the rest of it, around 68%, is this dark energy and it's completely mysterious and we don't really have much of a theory for it. This, this is the new theory, so the, the team of astronomers at the University of Hawaii working in collaboration with astronomers across the UK and other countries have found a connection between uh, dark energy and black holes. So black holes are formed when old stars, massive stars, explode and end their lives. Um, they're also found at the centre of most galaxies. Now when they're found at the centre of galaxies, that we call them supermassive black holes and they contain millions to billions the mass of our sun inside them. Now what our team have done is that we've looked at how these big black holes in the middle of galaxies have changed with time. Now black holes can actually increase their size, they can increase their mass by accreting matter or merging with other things during their lifetime so we expect them to increase in size. What we found was that this increase in size, this increase in mass was actually significantly bigger than what could be explained purely by astrophysical processes like accreting stuff onto them or merging. So where does this extra mass come from? So the idea is that these, that these black holes might actually contain dark energy itself and that this dark energy and the black holes are closely coupled to the expansion of the universe and in fact that black holes might provide the answer to dark energy itself. This is important for black holes because traditionally black holes, if you fall into a black hole, you fall into the middle and you get crunched in the middle in what we call a singularity. Now a singularity is basically a, um, it, it's, it's a mathematical problem, it's, it's kind of like dividing by zero, you can't do it. We'd like the singularities to go away and what this new theory does um, it provides uh, a way to circumvent these singularities by saying that the, the black holes contain this, this dark energy or this energy from space that Einstein's theory originally predicted. So it nicely ties up the theory of black holes in an evolving universe with Einstein's theory of general relativity.